Namaste, my friends. Matt Murray here, and the Lakers and the Celtics are back in the finals. All is well in the world of the NBA. However, all those chowder-eating knuckleheads in Boston have no idea what they're up against. You see, they've been living in this dream world the past few years, with the Patriots and the Red Sox winning their championships. It's fever pitch all over again, only this time on a basketball court. They stare up at that last championship banner from 1986 and think this could be their year. They think that if the Celtics could just find a way to win the finals and follow those other Boston teams, they'll become a team of destiny. If they can just believe it's not over, then it'll come true. It's not over. Oh, it's over. It was over before it began. Celtics fans, you can hope and dream all you want. The fact of the matter is, all you've done is gotten the attention of a purple and gold Cloverfield monster. Ready to stomp through downtown Boston with the fervor of Charles Barkley at a Vegas all-you-can-eat buffet. What? Ray Allen, dead man. Kevin Garnett, dead man. Paul Pierce, dead man. Sam Cassell, let me tell you, Sam Cassell's head looks like a milk dud. <laughs> the Lakers are the best team in the NBA with the universe's greatest player, Kobe Bryant. How good is it going to feel when Kobe, Powell, and the rest of the boys go into Boston and slap the taste out of the mouths of those wretched green goblins? <laughs> the sweetest thing will be when Phil Jackson finally unseats that puffy-faced, cigar chomp and Celtic coach Red Auerbach and officially becomes the greatest NBA coach of all time. Excellent! Before I go, I just want to give a quick shout-out to Rink Rat and all the hardcore hockey fans over at Let'sGoKings.com. The LA Kings will soon join the Lakers in the promised land, my friends. But for now, I'm Matt Murray. Lakers rule. Celtics suck.